Hey everyone, it's Captain Kate with your first episode, first video ever of the Below Bravo show. Let's get into it. First video ever, we're going to start with the top five most asked questions on the internet about Below Deck sailing because new season starting in just a couple weeks and we're so excited. Let's jump in. Question number one. How much does it cost to go on as a charter guest on Below Deck Sailing Yacht? Listen, if you have to ask, you cannot afford it. Bitch, you are broke. You do not have money. You do not need to be worrying about how much it costs. That's for someone else in another tax bracket. That's not for you and me, right? We can get a pool float. We can do all kinds of things. No yacht charters, but... The real answer is that it can range from anywhere from $100,000 to $300,000 typically for the yacht groups that you're seeing on the show. And really that comes down to how many people are on the guests, how many couples are splitting it up, all that kind of thing. And let's not forget those $20,000 tips. Because honestly, if you are tipping less than $20,000, they are going to roast you the second you get off the boat. That's it. So can't forget about that small tip of 20 grand. 30 if you wanna be the best guest ever. Question number two, my favorite and everyone's favorite topic is, are Gary and Daisy together? We need to know, is it Gazy, Dairy? We don't know, but they're so cute. They're so sweet. But what we've seen from the trailer so far this season is that Gary is going to do the same old shit he's always done. So if you're ready to see Gary hook up with a bunch of girls and then flirt with Daisy and then pine over Daisy, guess what? This next season is for you. The twist this season is going to be that Colin gets involved and we know that Colin is our favorite pot stirrer and we're so excited that he's single and he's added into the little fling a little bit and he's creating a little bit of a love triangle. So I'm excited to see where this season goes, but I will say the best part is going to be watching them and hopefully, hopefully we can all be united in our love for Gary and Daisy. So cute. My favorite question is that the third most asked question on Google about Below Deck Sailing Yacht is, is that couple still together from Below Deck Sailing Yacht? And you might be asking, I don't know, which couple? Uh, because they're forgettable and obviously they're not together, which is... Paget and Sierra, yikes. This couple was so embarrassing in that first season and I felt so bad for her that entire season because he could not have shown more red flags in that relationship. He had nothing to do with her. He was openly flirting with another girl on the crew, just all around rough. They just didn't need to be together. I think they were together by circumstance. And then when circumstances changed and environments changed and crew changed, it just, they weren't meant to be. So I think they seem to be thriving really well separately. And yeah, we're happy for them to be happily apart. So yeah, that couple not together. Question number four, is it someone who's incredibly broke? and or dumb on the internet has clearly asked many times, do guests pay to go on charter on below deck? Yes, they pay a boatload of money and a lot of times they're spending just as much to get less parts of the boats because the crew and filming and all that group, the producers, everything, they're taking up a large portion of the boat. They're having cameras in their faces the whole time. Yeah, they're paying and you know, honestly, doesn't seem like a lot of them get their money's worth because a lot of them end up taking a bad reputation with them when they leave the boat. So yes, they pay and they pay in a lot of circumstances the full amount, but they also get some promo and you see them wearing their own merch and their own products and talking about their businesses. So I'm sure there's a lot of kickback that a lot of the great guests get. So I guess it's worth it for them. Last but not least, the top five, number five question that people want to know on the internet is how much money does Captain Sandy make? And let me tell you, reading this article online, I realized I picked the wrong career path 
and clearly we should have just gone into yachting. I understand it. I have friends in yachting. I definitely wish I was making that much cash, but she also has worked her butt off to get there. So fair enough. But she does make between 150 to 210,000 a year. So Sandy is sitting pretty on some lovely beach, probably in the Mediterranean. And yeah, we're happy for her. She's a queen. She can thrive. She gets that cash. We love it for her. Well, that's your top five most frequently asked questions on the internet about Below Deck Sailing Yacht. I can't wait to watch the new season. I'll drop information about where you can watch it and when you can watch it down here. And I'm so excited, last of all, to show you I got merch. So she's so cute. It's a little Chief Stew energy hoodie. And she's cozy and super light. We love her. She's got a little hood. She's adorable. She can cover up my nasty hair. We love her for that. And it's available on my Etsy shop. So hop in there. And I'm so excited to keep chatting. Bravo, below deck, Scandaval, whatever you've got. I want to talk to you about it. So can't wait to hear from you. Thanks. See you soon.